Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to compare decimals. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to compare 45 hundredths to 5 tenths and tell me which one is bigger. So our learning targets for the day is I can compare decimals. I can compare decimals by using models. I can compare decimals by using a number line, and I can compare decimals by using place values. So today we're going to talk about three different strategies you could use to compare decimals. So before we start, let's review. A decimal is another way that you can show a part of the whole. Here's an example of a decimal. You might be tempted to read this 0 and or 0 0.56 but remember that we learned that these digits all have a place. So after the decimal point to the right of the ones place, the first place is called the tenths. So in this number, we have five tenths and we have six hundredths. So this decimal would be read zero and 56 hundredths. So if we use a model to draw this, we would first by start by drawing the tenths. So I'm going to draw five tenths. Remember a tenth is ten hundredths or a whole entire column in the hundreds grid. So there's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. Then we can draw our hundredths. We have six hundredths. Hundredths are just little squares. So one hundredth, two hundredth, three hundredth, four hundredth, five hundredth, six hundredth. So now our model shows fifty-six hundredths. Zero and fifty-six hundredths. We can also show decimals on a number line. So here on our number line, our number line is starting at zero and ending at one. It is broken into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parts. That means that each part is a tenth. So I can label this part one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, 9 tenths, and this would be 10 tenths, but we know 10 tenths is equivalent to one whole. We also talked about how it's helpful to write the equivalent hundredths. So 1 tenth is equivalent to 10 hundredths, 2 tenths is equivalent to 20 hundredths, 3 tenths is equivalent to 30 hundredths, 4 tenths is equivalent to 40 hundredths, 5 tenths is equivalent to 50 hundredths, 6 tenths is equivalent to 60 hundredths, 7 tenths equals 70 hundredths, 8 tenths equals 80 hundredths, 9 tenths equals 90 hundredths, and 10 tenths is one whole or 100 hundredths. So we can use that number line to plot our decimal. So if we looked at this decimal, 0 and 85 hundredths, and I wanted to see where it would go on the number line, I noticed that it has 8 tenths. So first I'm going to put it by 8 tenths. 8 tenths is equivalent to 80 hundredths. So I know it's a little bit more. So in between each tenth, there are 10 hundredths. So this would be 81 hundredths, 82 hundredths, 83 hundredths, 84 hundredths, 85 hundredths. So 85 hundredths, I can plot halfway between 8 tenths and 9 tenths, or halfway between 80 hundredths and 90 hundredths. Now that we reviewed, we are going to learn today how to compare two decimals. So here we have 45 hundredths and 5 tenths. The first strategy that we can use is a model. So if we take our models and we color each one in, it can help us see which one is larger. So in my first model on the left, I'm going to color in 45 hundredths. So here I have shaded in 45 hundredths, so I shaded in 4 tenths, 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, and 5 hundredths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I'm going to shade in this model, and I see that I have a 5 in the tenths place, so I'm going to color in 5 tenths. 
So now that I have shaded in five tenths, I can compare. I can see which model has more shaded in. When I look, this one has four full rows shaded in and part of the fifth one. In this one, I have five full rows or columns shaded in. So I see that this model is bigger, which means that five tenths is larger. So remember, I can use the less than sign or I can use little monster E being the bigger number opening to the bigger number to show that 45 hundredths is less than 5 tenths. So our next strategy is using a number line. In this example, we are going to compare 6 tenths to 38 hundredths. So in our number line, we set it up from 0 to 1. We break it out into tenths. Notice I always like to label it as tenths and hundredths, so it makes me it easier for me to compare. First, I'm going to plot my first decimal, 6 tenths. So I locate 6 tenths on the number line, not 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, and it would be right here, and I plot it. Now I'm going to plot 38 hundredths. I know that 38 hundredths comes between 3 and 4 tenths. It's closer to 4 tenths, though. So then I'm going to plot that there. So there's where 38 hundredths would go. Now I look at my number line. Which one is further to the whole or closer to the whole or further to the right? That is going to be the larger decimal. So I can see that 6 tenths is further to the right, which means that 6 tenths is greater than 38 hundredths. So here I put in my greater than symbol to show that 6 tenths is greater than 38 hundredths. Our third strategy is using place value. So here we have 25 hundredths that we are comparing to 3 tenths. When we use place value to compare, we first rewrite both numbers. We're going to stack them just like we did with whole numbers. When we stack them, we make sure we line up the place values. So notice my ones are lined up, my decimal points are lined up, and my tenths are lined up. This is 2 in the tenths place. This is 3 in the tenths place. So I have the tenths place lined up. There's nothing in the hundredths place in this number because this number doesn't have any tenths place. It would have 0 hundredths. So it helps you. You can put a 0 in the hundredths place there. Now, just with whole numbers, we are going to start at the right, and we are going to see. I'm going to compare the ones. 0 and 0 are the same. So that means I can't use that place value to compare. So I go to the next. Decimal place and decimal place, always going to be the same. Don't need to compare those. Now I look at my tenths place. Hmm, they're different. They're the largest place value that's different. I have a 2 and a 3. The 3 is larger than the 2. So 3 tenths is larger than 2 tenths. That's going to tell me that 3 tenths is bigger than 25 hundredths. I don't even need to look at the hundredths place. Remember, just like with whole numbers, we use the largest place value that we can to compare. Two-tenths is bigger than three-tenths. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Three-tenths is bigger than two-tenths, which tells me that three-tenths is larger than 25 hundredths. So again, 25 hundredths is less than three-tenths. How do I know? I know this because I use the tenths place to compare, and three-tenths is larger than two-tenths. Let's look at another example. Here we have 42 hundredths and 56 hundredths. So remember, my first step is to line up my place values. So I'm going to stack up, stack my numbers. I'm going to make sure that I'm lining up the ones place, the decimal places, the tenths place, and the hundredths place. Then I start and I compare, and I look at one place value at a time. I start at the left. 0 and 0, they're the same. So I'm going to move to the next place value, the tenths place. Hmm, these are different. 4 tenths and 5 tenths. 5 tenths is bigger than 4 tenths. 5 is bigger than 4. This tells me that 56 hundredths is bigger than 42 hundredths. So I can use my comparison symbol to show that 42 hundredths is less than 56 hundredths. Remember, the opening opens towards the bigger number. 42 hundredths is less than 56 hundredths.
So today we talked about how you can use different strategies to compare decimals. Your goal was to be able to compare decimals. We used three strategies. We learned how you could use a model to shade in the different amounts. We looked at number lines and how you can plot numbers on the number line and the number further to the right is the larger number. And we learned how we could stack numbers using place value to compare. Check yourself to see if you met today's learning targets and Head on to Google Classroom to do today's practice. See you later. Bye.